For today's video, I'm just going to use my White Knights, St. Peterburg's White Knights watercolours. You can see I'm going to use, I'm going to try and use again the Hague brush and these other mop brush and also a liner brush. So I'm going to do this, it's going to be time lapsed just to, um, just to show you the, pro the whole process of this painting. So it's going to be nice, short and simple. I'm using the um, a light wash of yellow ochre and a touch of indigo into that for the sky. And then it's just a case of uh, different sort of greens. I'm not sure, I'll, I'm not really sure I like the greens that are in the um white knight set i did actually go for a sap green but it's not you can see it's quite artificial i'm not sure which green that is it i think it may be the emerald green which i just picked up um i've not really used the white knights very much so i'm not familiar with the colors so this really is quite um not challenge but it's quite different so I'm not quite sure of which colours I'm using, just looking at the colours themselves, what they're called. And these are the sort of forest, a bit of foliage. And I wanted it quite a nice sort of light source in the middle of the scene. So that's what I'm doing here. You can see, using the Hague brush, there's less control, so there's plenty of water and plenty of sort of flow coming down the page, so there's less control. And that's what I like about using the Hague brush. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm very experienced with the Hague brush. I've done a couple of Hague, Hague brush paintings. But the reason why I'm using the White Knights is the sort of wider, um, they're actually full pan, full pans rather than the half pans. Or if I'm using the um, my uh, ceramic palette, then they're only little, sort of round um round holes for the pigment so it's, it's difficult to get the um pigment onto the hake brush with it being so large so that's why i wanted to use my white knights today and, and you can see just making some rocks some sort of texture into the foreground so that's what i'm doing just a um a ripped up credit card and just scraping away some pigment just to reveal highlights on rocks because so that's quite a nice effect i wanted to have a go at that's another technique that i'm not really familiar with but i've seen it done plenty of times i just wanted to give it a go and it looks quite nice i think i'll go in and add some dark to the darks of the rocks sort of underneath just to make them pop you can see just by adding a little bit of dark underneath the the rocks it, it helps them to sort of stand out gives a nice um a nice effect and now just adding darker tones to the trees i think in many of my paintings i don't go dark enough so that's something that i'm working on just trying to push that color and the darks even darker so that i can get the contrast of the light as well because when you go dark it brings out the the highlights and the lighter areas making that more effective so if you're new to this channel if um if you're not yet subscribed please do subscribe give us a, a comment and a thumbs up if you like this this uh, video then please do give us a thumbs up um i do post many more other videos ones like this and i do like to do uh, sort of townscapes and sort of buildings and architecture so that's what I do a lot of. But every now and then I like to do sort of scenes like this. Um, a nice, simple sort of woodland scene. Uh, just adding a few more darker tones into the foliage. Just try and block some of that area in. And um, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Just touching up here and there. And then I'll be taking the masking tape off. And that is my favourite part of the, one of my favourite parts of the painting process is just to reveal that 
nice clean crisp edge as you can see gives a nice border and I guess the, the darker the sort of outline sort of edges are then the more that sort of pops so there we go I hope you like it let's just have a closer look you can see I've scraped out those rocks as a nice bit of texture and a bit of a stream sort of running through the middle but I hope you like that I'm gonna give it a go and thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video take care Bye-bye.